Ron Hamilton with his song taken from Psalms 6-2, Have mercy upon me, O Lord, for I am weak. The title, Lord, I need thee. He said in the second stanza, Lord, help me to remember I am weak, but you are strong. I cannot sing apart from you. For Lord, you are my song. Although I'm prone to wonder and boast in all I do. Lord, keep my eyes turned upward so I depend on you. Lord, I need you. When the sea of life is calm, O oh Lord, I need you. When the wind is blowing strong, where the trials come or cease, keep me always on my knees. Lord, I need you. Lord, I need you. Ron Hamilton paid attention to the fact that he need the Lord. And he told the Lord he need him. I too need the Lord. Oh, you need the Lord. We all need the Lord. And you know, it is so good when we can take the time out and tell him and let him know that we need him. We do that by prayer. Now, some prayers get the attention of God while some prayers just don't get the attention of God. So let's look at the prayer that gets God's attention. As much as we are told we must find that secret place in our last devotion, we read from Matthew 6, verse 5 to 8, when thou prayest, thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and in the corner of the streets that they may be seen of men. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. But thou, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet, and when thou hast shut the door, pray to thy father which is in secret, and thy father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. But when we pray, use not vain repetition as the heathens do, for they think that they shall be heard for their much praying. Be not ye therefore like unto them, for your father knoweth what things you have need of before ye ask. Yes. Don't you know, even if I go to my closet, I could still make myself be heard even there? As much as we are told that we must find that secret place, I believe that he's more concerned about dealing with our attitude towards prayer more than the place of prayer. No private prayer will be heard with a bad attitude, but Private prayer is when it is just you and the Lord that you become unconcerned about what others think as they listen because it is not for them to hear and judge your English or your motive. Private prayer is encouraged in the Bible. Look at some examples. Jesus prayed privately many times. The Bible said, And in the morning, rising up a great while before day, Mark chapter 1, verse 35, he went out and he departed in a solitary place. And there he prayed. I don't know if you experience this, but you can't find nothing better than just you and the Lord just praying. Some people do that in their bedroom. Some people do it in their kitchen. Some people do it in their cars. Some people do it just outside. Some people do it at the seashores, around the sea rocks. I love to do it around the shore. It seems like when you are doing it around the seashore that you can hear him responding to you. So Jesus prayed privately many times. He would get up early in the morning and he would pray. Elijah, 
He also prayed privately in 2 Kings chapter 4, verse 32 to 37. And when Elisha was come into the house, behold, the child was dead and laid upon his bed. He went in, therefore, and shut the door upon them twain, prayed unto the Lord. And he went up, and he lay upon the child, and put his mouth upon his mouth, and his eyes upon his eyes, and his hands upon his hands. And he stretched himself upon the child, and the flesh of the child waxed warm. Then he returned and walked in the house to and fro, and went up and stretched himself upon him. And the child sneezed seven times. And the child opened his eyes. And he called Gehazi and said, Call the Shumanite. So he called her. And when she was come in unto him, he said, Take up the child. Then she went in and fell at his feet and bowed herself to the ground and took up her son and went out. Yes, here is a man of God by the name of Elisha. He prayed, but he prayed by putting others out of the room, and he prayed secretly unto God. And God heard and answered his prayer. You know the man Daniel? Daniel, he also prayed privately, or Daniel prayed alone. In chapter 6 of Daniel, verse 10 and verse 11, Now when Daniel knew that the writing was signed, he went into his house, and his windows being opened in the chamber towards Jerusalem. He kneeled upon his knees three times a day and prayed, and gave thanks before his God, as he did aforetime. Then these men assembled and found Daniel praying and making supplication before his God. Prayer done in secret will be rewarded down here, but not only down here, it will also be rewarded up there. Prayer must be done in secret before it is done in public. Hypocrites love to pray in public. I have often heard the statement, when you hear those making long prayers in public, their prayers no doubt are very short and private. The secret prayer God looks at is not what comes from the mouth, but what comes from the heart. Had you ever heard people say, boy, he or she could pray? I listened to that phrase, and I wonder how they come to that conclusion. Is it the sound of the voice? What caused people to think, boy, she can pray, a boy, he can pray. What do we use as a measuring stick for that prayer? My encouragement to you today is to take some time, even right where you are, after hearing this devotion, and talk to the Lord. Some people say, well, I cannot pray. Yes, you can. If you can talk to someone, then you can pray. You can talk to the Lord. Lord Jesus, I come to you today and I pray that even those who feel like they cannot pray, they will take time in private and talk to you. And Lord, as they express themselves to you, I pray you would hear and you would answer. Have your way with those, Lord, who are crying out to you today. Hear their prayers. Answer according to your will. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day. Amen. We love you in the Lord.